Yo, if you a diehard supporter or you appreciate what I'm doing over here on this channel, feel free to send me a Cash App donation. I appreciate all those donations. And I'm going to continue to work hard to bring y'all the best stories and the best content I could find. You're, if you need a collab, hit me up. You heard? Because you know I do this rap thing for real, not for fake. Check my resume. It's stupid. Yo, hold on, Laz. I gotta tell you, yo, some of the stories lately, your vocals have been shammy, shammy. I don't know what's going on. I need to look into that. You don't know nothing I'm talking about right now. That's that iPhone 8 you got, man. <laughs> Laz, I've been listening to this on the computer, bro. That's that iPhone 7. <laughs> Bless you. I think one of those interviews that you did with um. You got that iPhone six, man. I'm gonna <laughs> get you the upgrade, bro. I mean, yeah. the speaker, the speaker <laughs> fucked up, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, you gotta upgrade, you gotta upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Was when I heard Drac, I heard Pig. I heard yeah. Pig, Drac. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And I was seeing his sister Sharon because she was part of the boosting crew. And I was motherfucking seeing them and they was taking me to Macy's and the Bronx, let me hold bags, getting me mad garmurities. And I loved it them every day. Right? But I only been with them like two days out the week. You know what I'm saying? And then I go with the, 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 the digging niggas. Then I go snatch some deuce deuces. Depends on what the day was downtown, man, you know? But um, I heard Pig, I heard Drax, son. Straight up. And them niggas was coming downtown first. And then them niggas start bringing, like, damn, it seemed like the whole fuck, son. Bunch of little niggas just running rampant. I said, what the fuck? How some of you gonna be able to make some money? And you know what I'm saying? But at that time, this was one of my hustles that I was guaranteeing. Guaranteeing. 25, want to come back every day. And that was mid-range. That wasn't minimum or maximum. That was mid-range guarantee. But when I seen all, 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 all this, this whole e e East New York, I said, well, damn. I got to find another spot to dig. <laughs> these niggas are swarming, son. I can had them niggas getting everything, son. It was just like unfair, bro. But it was still, it was still, it was still what what it was and what was going on, son. So you couldn't have no feelings about it. But I always say that East New York niggas is the first niggas that was the robbers that was robbing the robbers, son. Straight up, son. Straight up, son. Tell, I was talking about that the other day on um. I think I was on live and shit, and I was talking about back in the days, you know, I'm talking about in the 80s, man, early 80s and shit. East New York was really, really underdeveloped, my nigga. Like, it was a bunch of empty lots out there and abandoned buildings. And that shit was, it was a dangerous place. Like, I tell niggas that movie Death Wish 4, where they filmed that That's shit right. in East I was, New York. Yo, I was just about to say that last word of Son, that's how the funny shit is. Niggas thought that shit was Hollywood, but that's how that's how East New York really was. That's crazy. I was just about to say that shit. That was for straight up. You see, all that that was real shit. It was mad abandoned buildings in that movie, though. It was blocks of them shit. It wasn't nothing out there, bro. Niggas knew better. That shit was just an open drug market. <laughs> Police was corrupt. Now I mean, Whoa, yeah. it was crazy, my nigga. We used to be in there playing in abandoned buildings that we could have got killed in because we was kids. <laughs> we ain't know no better. But that shit was crazy out there. Yeah, the East is wild. East definitely. But you gotta realize, you know what? The Bamas too, though. The Bamas is off the hook, bro. Yeah, Bamas is crazy. Yeah, Bamas. They different over there. Yeah, and, okay. and, and it's crazy because it's housing right there. Shout out to the bro Shaw. Shout out to the bro Shaw from the Bamas. My son, South Aff, you already snow. That was in Hudson with us. I mean, but 
Yeah, man, that shit is crazy over there, my nigga. Yeah, they I mean? different. They definitely different over there. For real, for real. They had the most murders at one time. In the whole New York State. Yeah, never that's... understood the policing right here. No, I never understood right. how y'all niggas out in Cyprus, my nigga. Used to make y'all way all the way downtown, son. Y'all niggas just was different for that bread, son. <laughs> that A train, my nigga. That A train connect shit, man. That A train goes straight downtown. Word. When you're on the express, that's only like four stops on the express. You already know you downtown in ten minutes. Straight up, that shit go from Broadway Junction to fucking Utica <laughs> to Nostrand. Trend. And it's a no, rap. You on Hoyt and Skimmer. Skimmer. <laughs> Real. Oh, yeah, that is true. Damn. That shit is four <laughs> stops on that A, bro. Not on the C train, but on nah. the A train. That shit is four stops. You right. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yo, you... but the only time I hit the A line when it was time to hit, you know what I'm saying, Latin quarters and all that shit, the nighttime, nightlife type shit, Union Square and all that shit, that's when we got in the A. And you, you was robbing shit on your way to get the way you was going on that train. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that A train, son, was the worst train, son, back in them days, son. And then it would have to be the 3 and then the GG. I don't know, see, man. I think, I, think the C, the I think the C was worse than the A train, though, man, because the C made all those stops. Yeah, all the local stuff. Rockaway, listen, Ralph, listen, Franklin. You know, the L, the L too. Because you remember the L go through Brownsville into Canarsie. The L was wild too. Yeah, the L was crazy, it's especially up Broadway Junction. Don't, 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 don't not know where you going, and you try to go up to that L train on Broadway Junction on them escalators, my nigga. Oh shit! Hold up, you got the Broadway Junction terror dome right here. The nigga, cause them niggas had that. In a seed, son, for years on then. Fucking junction, nigga. You, anything Rip. that was coming, they was robbing it. But what's crazy was, I used to, it was um, my man, Black Jason. He from Howard and Jefferson. I was telling Shaw about him earlier. That was my guy. He had his whole little team with him. They was wilding. When I was hooked up with them, when they came through the junction, these niggas was wilding, yo. They was, they was getting anything. Sim, it was a, it was it was Bedside and Bushwick. They was together. They was up there definitely putting in the work. But I was telling Sha one up there right lies and I was up there by myself, right? So I thought that was my spot. I was lit up there. I, you know what I mean? I'm doloing too many people up here, whatever. So like five niggas come through. I'm like, oh here we go. So they keep looking, I'm like, oh man, I'm, I'm hope, I'm like, yo, ain't nobody up here, I'm dolo. So they came over there and shit, so they was about to jump me, lad. Go to my mother, they was about to whoop my ass, but one of the dudes was like, nah, let me fight this nigga one on one. Word to my mother, lads. I thought I was fighting an octopus. This nigga hit me with the 12 piece chicken McNugget, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, so them niggas just them niggas just came up to you and just wanted to fight for no reason, like yeah. niggas. I guess I don't know what it was. They was just looking at each other, but they recognized that. Nigga. I would have rather them niggas jump me than yo, <laughs> yo. You know what I did last? I went down on one knee. I looked up. I said, I got a body. There. So you know, I got a body, and you know, I had to run down the steps. <laughs> Steps is like motherfucking. <laughs> this shit is like the coming down map. the statue, the inside of the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> this is like the green mouse. I just give up, man. I just give up fucking with them stairs, nigga. Up, that man. was the longest run of my life, yo. Word of my mother. That nigga, bro. I told y'all last, we wound up catching a nigga a couple of days later. They chased y'all. They the chased country. you down the stairs, though. Nah, they ain't chase me. They, he just hit me with the 12 piece chicken McNugget. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga let that nigga, let that nigga run home. For real. I wound up catching that nigga last night, and it was like me and two of my men. So when we run into the other side, he like, you gonna shoot the nigga Phil? I said, 
We jumping this nigga. Fuck you. Ain't no fair one. <laughs> we jumping this nigga. <laughs> This nigga just it would not be that. no fair ones. No, no, no. We whooped that nigga ass, and then he got us locked up. He got me locked up, yo. But hold on, how long after after that he hit you with the twelve piece with the biscuit and the gravy <laughs> that you you seen him afterwards? And got it was like three. It was like it had to be three to four days later, sir. Whoa, oh. the mother. We wowed on this nigga though. He <laughs> told on. I was like, it won't be no one on ones there, for real. But you, y'all never heard of the Bandicons? I think I heard of that before. That was the niggas in Broadway Junction, right? The niggas. That, that what happened was we was all at the junction one day, and the Decepts used to come through there a lot, trying to fun on niggas. Mm -hmm. So one day we mad deep up there. We like, yo, we all start putting band on band aids on. So we like, man, fuck that. We gonna be the Bandicons. We, we ran through that J train robbing everything, yo. Everything on that J train. We had to be at least about 100 deep. Everybody with band aids on. We went through that. Yo, that day, I, I, yo, I had Nugget Watch. I had chains. Yo, I came off with mad shit that day, yo. Both of my mother, we wowed that day. And then one day, the, um, I was up there with Jason and them, and, um, it's a couple of decepts. We chased these niggas. We chased them on the track, so to all the way to they ran. We was on the track from the junction. They ran all the way through Greenway. Damn, we, that's we was on the tracks. We was trying to get these niggas. Them niggas was out, yo. Or the mother, Crazy. them niggas. Was what out. niggas was in the inside tunnel running inside? Yeah, in the inside tunnel. They, that's we was trying to catch them. We all because you know it's only the it's route. We was on them and we still ain't catch them niggas. That shit crazy. That crazy. junction was different though. I ain't even gonna hold you. Because we used to be like, we had come from Franklin K Lane to the junction, from the junction to Maxwell, back to the junction because Maxwell, Maxwell had all the chicks. Slugs, yeah. All of them. And it, it was just, uh, you had uh, Ronette and them, Ronette. She had a, she from Van Dyke too, Ronette from Brownsville. And she, she had a mean little team up there. It was a, oh man, it was Maxwell. I, I still, I was still up there after I got shot up there. I was still hanging out up there. They had all the broads in there. But well, and Wayne, Wayne had a couple of broads too though. But that junction was different. If you, if you wasn't nobody, you couldn't come through there saying none. You got hold up. You got a distinction of junction because you got a Flatbush Junction. You know what I'm saying? Nah, East New York Broadway Junction. Right. Niggas know East New York Broadway. <laughs> they know what the fuck is going on? A lot of yeah. niggas' heads got bashed in. Yeah, that shit ain't yeah. like that. That 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 one is different. Them, that's them steps alone. Yeah, them yeah. steps alone is iconic, my nigga. <laughs> a lot of niggas got beat down them stairs and them escalators, son. <laughs> Y'all used to be mostly where the J and where the J train is at. Yep, right there, upstairs, right? Remember they had the concession stand right there? Yep. Yes, yep, yep, yep. They don't got it no more? Remember, remember, I don't know, I ain't been through the end. They, remember they had mad telephones on each side too. Remember the pay phones? It was like one pay phone on each side. You got people coming from everywhere, getting to the L, the J. That was yeah, the man. Effect, the Brooklyn transfer. I ain't like standing outside in that cold on that J side though. Yeah, that it used to be cold. Break daddy. It's a nigga like me, man. I walk home from Broadway Junction. So once I get to the junction, I just get out. Cause my pride, I go to Howard. I go under that little tunnel that go under the Long Island yeah, Railroad or Metro right North there. or whatever yep. that is. Yep. Yeah, you come out by lady. Every once in a while, sometimes if I ain't feel like walking like that, I'll go up to the L train and take that shit to Atlantic Avenue. That's a nice little walk, though. Yeah, like, if that, you know what I mean? I don't be feeling like going all the way to fuck up there, then waiting for the L train. But nah, that junction was crazy, bro. I done seen all type of shit go down at that junction. Even right there, where the A train is at, where the police, yeah, no, that right, niggas that was, was getting, right, yeah. niggas was getting beat up and yep. robbed right there by yep. the police station, bro. Yep. Yep. 
You ain't lying about that. You 100% right about that. I seen a couple of niggas get dumped out right there. Yo, listen, man. That junction, niggas was getting robbed at the same time upstairs when niggas was getting robbed downstairs. It was everywhere you go. It was little sectors. It's like a spread out. And there was niggas that was catching niggas that was going on the C and the A. And there was niggas catching niggas going on the J and the L. It was just all out. You had your, it was fruit and glasses for a robbery, nigga. Because they could go any route to catch a good robbery. Wow. Yeah, Broadway Junction might be the most It might have been the most dangerous train station in in Brooklyn I mean, I know Sutter Ave is dangerous too Like statistic wise, Sutter Ave on the L train Like a lot of shit happens on Sutter Ave on the L train My nigga, that Hell shit yeah. Niggas get raw with. I, f- I filmed a video in front of that shit called BK Madness That Sutter Ave on the L train is problematic, my nigga Rockaway Ave on the C train is problematic yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Cause you gotta realize certain train stations is is other niggas corners. You know what I mean? That's where they just hang out at, right by the train station because it's right on their corner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the you know what I mean, you was coming up, pulling up to a lot of it be mad. You gotta walk through at least about fifty niggas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like on that G, on that GG. Cause you gotta go through the whole Marcy, the, the LG, and that's where them niggas hang out at. Right on the corner of motherfucking Myrtle and Willoughby, that train station, where it's on Marcy and Myrtle. Niggas used to hang out right there back in the days before they fixed the park up and shit at Marcy. Yeah. And you go f- down, you know what I'm saying? The LG, that's where they had the basketball tournaments right there where they turn, they bas- they train station was at. Hoyt and Skimmerhorn too was dangerous. Not yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe not, yeah. not so much. I, I done seen shit go down in Hoyt and Skimmerhorn. They had a little police station in there too. But who cares? But <laughs> but that back train, you know that back um entrance that's like on Skimmerhorn. Yep. That yep. that yeah, back, back shit, one. like that yep. shit. If you yep. if you ain't know no better, and you went to that particular, you came out on that particular exit. It's a rap, bro. Yeah, that was it. We always came out on that exit because once you make the left, you got the the more LB was right there. So we always came out through that little side on that side that come just <laughs> left right there. I forget. And what the fuck is y'all talking about? You forgot the train station was connected to McCory's, man. Yeah, but that's yeah, all the way on Fulton right. Street, though. Oh, fuck is y'all talking about? Right. Yeah, but that's right. all the way on Fulton Street. I'm talking about. All the way on Skimmerhorn Street, where if you come out yeah, that wrong like, side, you come yeah, out all like, the way in the yeah, back by that little store. Yeah, it's I a little store right connected. by the train station. Yes, that's all connected. Yeah, it's all connected, but to go side. in the Macquarie side, that shit is all the way on the other side. Yeah, it's a nah, he, yo, Shy, he talk when he talking about when you come out, the dude used to be selling the French right there. Yeah, and it's a little. It was like a little bullshit ass yeah. bootleg store where they used to yep. sell tapes back in the days and shit like that. Mm-hmm. It's like a little, the back yeah, entrance of that you shit. Come like. out of there, you make the left, and the mall was maybe like a block or two that you gotta walk up to get to the mall. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. But that Hoyt and Skimmerhorn, if you wasn't from downtown Brooklyn, when you went down there, you just had to be on point, my nigga. I ain't trust downtown Brooklyn niggas. You feel what I'm saying, <laughs> nigga? I was downtown Brooklyn and. In, in like 2006 one day and I seen a nigga snatch a pocket in 2006 <laughs> straight up right on motherfucking right right behind Macy's right behind Macy's cause they used to have this motherfucking oh man they used to have this health food store that was that was right there on motherfucking um Livingston. Livingston. Oh my God, niggas had the greatest. Son, niggas had the greatest. Everybody remembers that spot on Livingston. Anybody that was out in them times, this was ten years ago. They know what time it is with that fucking. This is more than ten years ago. Now I'm probably like you're like ten, twelve years ago. I'm talking about when they closed down. Oh yeah, they closed down. It's like Baby Manhattan now. Yeah, but this that spot was yo my nigga. They had the they had the vegan. I don't even want to talk about it, but they had the greatest carrot shake. They had the greatest <laughs> vegan shakes on the fucking planet. It's a damn shame they closed that spot down, man. Niggas know what I'm talking about on Livingston. They had the patties and that shit and all of that, my nigga. That shit was delicious. 
Nah, you said niggas know what I'm talking about. Straight up, but now nah, my <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Where y'all said y'all, y'all met at up north? Um, at Squeak introduced us, cuz. Oh, on the island. Yeah, on the island. We was just trying to figure this shit out. Frustrated, you know what I'm saying? But, man, Kai's shit was just organic. Like, real different from a lot of shit and a lot of different relationships you come across, you know? Where y'all was at? What crib y'all was in? When I was in Four Mains, uh, I think, Shaw, was it you in Four Upper? Upper? Yeah, we was in Four Upper Deep. You, yeah. Heck. Yep, me, Heck, Fruit. Yeah. Mick, um, um, damn, son. Nigga, Kaz hit me with some shit that just kind of fucked me up, and I was about to call out some a few dudes' names that I just want to pause on right quick. But anyway, you know, um, they was down shoe, Kaz, um, was Lake down there with y'all? Nah, Shaw Wells. Shaw Wells was down there with him. So they was down there, and um, we 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 used to be able to go. Was we able to go to the four four the four billion yard together? No, I don't even think so. Remember, we was all getting set in. Four men couldn't go nowhere. Matter of yeah. fact, four men was like not my nine. We was able to go somewhere up top. But um, you got to remember that one time they tried to send us to the school building, and when we went that school building, that's when Chino got cut. Yeah, that's right. That's right, son. They tried to change up the protocol. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and then yeah, because at one time they, it was only a certain certain houses only go to the school building, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was but some weird. I, that was some weird shit. They was experimenting with us, son. That's what they was doing. They was experimenting, trying to find out what'll work and what won't work. Because technically, as you always speak about it, a lot of the shit that they doing was fucking. It was unethical and it was unjustified for juveniles, bro. Um, Straight up. And that's also because them niggas wasn't housing just juveniles, man. Because now I'm even fucking with this channel. I'm opening my eyes even more to the fact that it was mad adults in the full nah, building, man. You want to hear some crazy shit, yo, about Rackers Island? Word to my mother, bro. I never seen nobody ride on that little thing, that little thing to the corridor. Remember that the little, little car? The car? The car? The car? Yo, what, yo, yo, word to my mother. <laughs> Where did yo. you come up with that from, Kai? Yo, Fukuan, the only nigga I ever see ride on that, son. Exactly. They ain't even want him walking in the building. Yo, <laughs> yo they was... <laughs> my son was getting a ride on the car, yo. yo. Who you ever <laughs> see on that car? Niggas Nobody. Niggas had him on a mobile device. Nigga had him on a mobile. <laughs> Niggas had mobile transport. <laughs> yo. Nah, yo, that shit was mad funny, yo. Yo, Fu is a funny nigga, yo. World the bubble, yo. That nigga was mad big. He had us looking like little kids on the island, yo. Yeah, but Fu, well, that was Fu age, though. I, I like know. I, and I found out. <laughs> fact, look what I found out. It was like, so I was... So some niggas hit me, right? So they was like, yo, y'all niggas be cracking jokes and shit. He said, yo, let me tell you why niggas used to be playing adolescents. Because it was fun, son. It was fun being over there with niggas, son. You know what I'm saying? Niggas had to ease their brain from the bed that they trying to do. And being around niggas, young niggas, it was fun, son. You know what I'm saying? Now niggas want to hold it against niggas and so all that type of shit, man. But it was fun back then. Y'all niggas used to be bugging out, <coughs> bugging out. Niggas have fun, you know what I'm saying? And they ease the mind, niggas. You go to HDM and all that other shit, 9-5. Nine 9-5, five, nine five, you provide a bunch of drug addicts, depressing a bunch of drug addicts. You know what I'm saying? You go to HDM, your life is on the line like you and motherfucking in a town somewhere. <laughs> you motherfucking go to, 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 to NIC, it's like you in a fucking a psych work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What the fuck you gonna do, man? So niggas said, man, I'm going to the four building, man, fuck with the little niggas, man. So I said, oh shit, I said, damn, I never even looked at it like that. Now I, I knew said, I knew that some niggas played adolescent just because you 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 it was shit in the four building, you ain't getting away with it in no other building, my nigga. You feel uh -huh. what I'm saying? I knew that, but I didn't realize too, a lot of niggas 
that was in there, niggas was on a fifth and sixth trip up in that motherfucker, nigga. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. My G, hell yeah. Hell yeah. It was on I remember, yo, you remember when the, um, the Brooklyn Bronx shit, shit was going on, Sha? Mm-hmm. The Brooklyn, the Bronx shit. Remember, we all went to the yard. I think we all was going to the yard at one time. We was. Yeah, we were. They opened the big yard up. We was going to two main yard where you had to walk through that. You had to walk had, through that. Yeah, it. you had to walk through that little yard to get to the big yard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we was all out there one day. And remember, uh, Boo Nitty and all them niggas from the Bronx. Mm-hmm. They was out there, too. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. She, me and she was at Fort Main, so she was she was like, like we stood off because she was like, ain't nothing really going to happen. But she was like, wait till we get in here. I'm going to show you how to blow it, nigga. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> What the man, when we got in there, bro, he cut the shit out that Spanish nigga, and he got away with it. Or the mother. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And this kid from the Bronx, shoot, tore that nigga up real quick. He said, that's how you do it. I said, all right. <laughs> all right. For real. That shit was crazy when we were there, though. I see some niggas used to be wilding. Yo, but... Tim, when we was, when we was, all right, so now, I remember it was a time, first of all, a lot of niggas, even when we was bid, a lot of niggas got killed during the course of the bid, right? A lot of niggas came, that came through, went home and got killed, right? A lot of niggas that we was up under, you know what I'm saying, got killed, right? And we still on this shit trying to figure this shit out, right? This whole Alice shit. But shit was getting real severe in the town, right? And I say to myself, right? Like, I heard you, Kaz, you was talking about, you was talking about the bro pig and shit like that. Because I didn't even know pig got killed. Yo, Laz, you knew that? I mean, you know, I just didn't know that son died all the way in 91. Right. Like, I didn't know that. See, what, ha- what, see, what happened was, too, Pig had got shot nine times in pink houses in the elevator. Oh. Mm. Yeah, he got shot nine times in the elevator. And he, you know what I mean? He, he, he held it. And only thing that he had a shit back, you know what I mean? He had a shit back for a while. You know what I mean? I, he had a shit back. And the crazy thing was, the day... He got killed. He spent the night in the front. Like, we, I was with him. You know what I mean? Like, we, we slept at the same crib that night. So in the morning, when we leaving, he's saying, like, I remember Pig from the back. I'm from the front. He's like, yo, come me to the crib. I'm like, man, I ain't going to the back, man. I ain't going back there, man. Like, come on, man. Like, just, you know what I mean? I said, I'll see you when you when you get back to for whatever you was doing. He was going to Brookline to see his baby moms because it's his baby mom is from Brookline. So, like, maybe, like, that had to be, well, maybe, like... Yo, Kaz, hold up. So, you, the front and the back got drama, because uh, this is what I'm trying to say. Shit is, like, around my way. So, the front and the back got drama, and he from the back, but he fucked with you in the front. Yeah. Front. And yeah. Nick in the back ain't have no problems, ain't have nothing to say about that, how that was going Nah, he just, you know what I mean? That, that was pig. Pig, you know what I mean? Like, that was just pig. And son, I'm not nothing to take nothing away from you and you because I know y'all boys is messy, real, extremely messy to another level. But them boys in the back were serious too, cuz. Yeah, they were serious. The whole, the whole piece was serious. Yeah, they serious. I, I can't back it, man. Y- y'all shit was kind of legendary, the shit that y'all was going through. But I didn't know that he pig was from the back. Yeah. Yeah, he was from the back. That was a high level the world. Yeah. That was but high that, level. That, yeah. Y'all shit was real separate and segregated like the Berlin Wall where the mother. And y'all shit just really reflects and remind me of my shit and how shit was going on in my piece. You know what I mean? Word. So you said son wanted you to you, you said son wanted you to come with him to his side that day and you wasn't trying to fuck with it? Yeah, I wasn't trying to fuck with it, lads. I don't know why I just, I just told him whenever you um 
just I see when you get back because he was going to see his baby mom in Brookline. So maybe like three, four hours later, I got the call. He got shot right there on Baron Sickman and Stanley. Because Pig ain't died right away. Pig was in a coma for two months before he died. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But what happened was, like I said, remember he had the shit back. He just had got the shit back, took it off maybe like a month, a little over a month before he got shot again. And then when he got shot, the bullet, it infected him. Mm. So I went, you know, I shot straight to the hospital. Like he couldn't even, he couldn't even talk, but he wrote down, he was like, yo, like, you know what I mean? Get Kasim back here. And I went back there, bro. He was like, he was just, he was crying. I like, I seen tears. He couldn't even talk, bro. For real, couldn't even talk, man. He just, you know, he just wrote down, I love you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit had me fucked up. Cause like I said, he, he lived for two months. You know what I'm saying? Like he was in a coma for two months. He didn't like die right away. He was in a coma two months. I was up at the hospital every day until he died, to the day he died. For real, but I remember like one time, like I was like coming in the hood, right? So I was crossing the street and I seen the car. And the car, like it just kept looking. So like as I'm walking in the projects, the car uh, bust a U-turn and it's a Jamaican dude, like with a strong accent. He just said, he just kept saying pig. I want to see pig. I didn't really understand what he was saying. You know what I'm saying? So I said, I ain't had no, I ain't know what I mean. I ain't had no gun on me. So I said, if I go to my crib and get a gun and come back down and he's still here, I'm booking him. Cause he, you know, he had mad guilty on too. So as I come back downstairs, he's still there. So I walk up on him. But as I'm walking up on him, he got his car right there. He backing up. So when I get close, I pull out. But when I pull out, he jump in the car. So when he jump in the car, I try to stick my hand and try to snatch the chain off. But when I try to, when I stuck my hand in to snatch the chain, he, he pressed on the gas. So I ain't want him to drag me. So I just do like two shots. You know what I'm saying? So the crazy thing was, I was in the peas and we just looking. He came back, bro. He came back and shot a kid for no reason because we didn't even know the kid he shot. And guess where the next time I seen this guy at? Where? At Pig's funeral. <clears throat> I knew you was going to say that. I ain't want to. His nigga was an ally. That was his man. Crazy. And I, you know what I mean? I didn't know. Like, it, it was crazy. I, I, at the funeral, I had a tech on me at the funeral because his funeral was in bad style. So we didn't know what was, you know what I mean? I had a tech on me. So when I seen them, I was about to, but my man mom was like, not in here, you ain't doing so. She, she made me go outside. But then when I went outside, his girl came outside and that was, his girl was Pig homegirl. She was like, he came looking for Pig. Oh, well, he so came. The girl told you that that was his. That was his. Yeah, girl. cause I once I seen the girl, I'm like, damn, that was Pig Homegirl. I know that. So what happened? Did you say? So did you speak to son and rectify that? Yeah, or I what? spoke to him. Yeah, yeah, we dead it right there. We had dead it right there. Or we had dead it right there. Because you know what I mean. Lucky I didn't. You know what I mean. Lucky ain't nothing bad really happened. But he definitely clapped a nigga. That wasn't even from my project. <laughs> that was just coming out of Maybay. <laughs> Real. Fucking legendary main mates. Legendary main mates. You already know. For real. Yo, if you a diehard supporter or you appreciate what I'm doing over here on this channel, feel free to send me a Cash App donation. I appreciate all those donations. And I'm going to continue to work hard to bring y'all the best stories and the best content I can find. You're. If you need a collab, hit me up, you heard? Because you know I do this rap thing for real, not for fake. Check my resume, it's stupid.